Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this let's play of Caesar 3. Yeah, and we're still unloading the map. And we're gonna be there for a very long time, I fear. Because I'm not sure how we can build fast on this particular map. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna start setting up some kind of neighborhood on this area. And I'm not sure how we're gonna do that though. Maybe a lengthy one. Yeah, I think so. It'll be a bit of a weird shape, weirdly shaped one. Something like this. And a straight road there. Cut this road off. And two gatehouses. Oh dear, okay, last place. Unfortunate. Okay, that was there. Okay, that was here. Some homes next to the gatehouse. I mean, they're gonna hate living there, but that's okay. They're gonna hate it, but that's gonna be just peachy. In time. Put a reservoir in the middle, maybe. No? Rocks everywhere. Sorry. Um. Here at the very least. We carry 10 squares since we I do need another reservoir. Unfortunately. Are these rocks? Yeah, oh darn it, that's why. Um, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna pose a challenge then. Um, unless I sneak one up here-ish. Yeah, okay, so a reservoir there. And one down by the ocean here. An aqueduct between them, yeah, that's gonna be fine. Try to create some room here. Like so. Doesn't have to be too pretty. Just have to get the water going. And now I should have water everywhere within this area. Good. So that I can build tons of fountains. the water. You should be happy about that, huh? City with a uh, site with an ocean view. Start with that. Also means we're gonna need more granaries, more pottery, uh, assemblies. Furniture industry. And yeah, now we're just gonna make money for a while because of the dance lights. That's unfortunate. Good, you guys have all upgraded. Perfect. And we're halfway there on population already. Yeah, maybe this will maybe this will work out once we get everybody here watered and fed and all that kind of fun stuff. Oh, this <laughs> so there's one square that actually lacks water supplies. Okay, um, not quite what I planned. Get a water here, there, one on that side. I'm getting the impression I don't actually need these, but on this particular map. But uh, why take chances? I'm gonna build 
the granary, I think. Oh, come on, let me build it. There we go. And then a prefecture. I think this is too far away to be a spillover warehouse. Is it to get food? So eventually, if we have a surplus of people, we can delete the shanty towns. <coughs> being kept fed. I hadn't actually expected that. The same thing up here, and that is that being kept with pottery, I hadn't expected that either. There we go, finally I have some unemployment. Which means we can probably start some markets and stuff here. There, one here. And then we're gonna add even more food. Um, oh yeah, what am I gonna, I'm gonna fix this on this upper area here? This road is becoming so messy, but uh, I think it kind of have to, has to be. to trade more olives, that's good. Not that we really need that right now. Yeah, little wolf, I hear you. Don't like you. Do not like you at all. Okay, so, there we go. Create a long road. Another long road. Drop down a home. Right in the middle of nowhere. Oh, it's actually too far away, is it? Too far away from the tufts. Don't know. There wasn't any fire risk, apparently, so... Yeah, what do you know? Man? One prefect there, just to... It might increase the number of them in this area. There we go. That's gonna be fine. Oh yeah, and these guys wanted access to an amphitheater. So, I guess we're gonna give them that. Probably need another gladiator school. Um... It's actually okay to build on that side now because of that farm or that feather there. Uh, I'm just gonna toss down some extra security here. Natives don't care, right? I can't delete their buildings, but I can basically build my city right on top of them and delete all the roads. Though I'd still have to pacify them with the missionaries, so. We can't do everything we want to do, but we can do quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Employees needed, I know. And culturating is absolutely dreadful. And it'll remain so for quite a while. Classify the area. Make it pretty. Pretty. There we 
to get food. Good. Now you can get. Now there's time for temples. Do I want to go with large temples in this area? I mean, we have the marble for it. So we could. And uh, that'd probably be slightly more pleased. Eh, why the heck not? Should have the room should have the room for it too if I can just navigate around all the rocks. Speaking of, I need to make sure that I have room for um, all the other big buildings I'm gonna need. I think it'll be fine though. Yeah. And one more. Provided I have the. Oh darn these dance lights. Large temples to all the gods, they don't really like me for this. <laughs> After this, I should probably try to consider a furniture industry. Actually, no, we need more marble. More marble so we can actually make some more monies. Must make more monies. Maybe I should just build a quarry roll here then. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna do that actually. If I want to create home area there later. I'm gonna do that, but for now. Let's, uh, let's just keep it simple. Um, there we go. Now we wait for more employees needed messages. It's gonna take a while, I think. Good, these have all upgraded, but most of them you have not because you just like your local area. That's fine. Let's classify this area. I might want to do all the roads. There we go. Three thousand people. Uh, yep, festival. Yay. But I do believe that the gods should be fairly happy now. Oh yeah. Even happy. My goodness. And we're only short of six employees. And we should still... Sh oh, we should still have room for quite a few more. And these are all full of food, which is awesome. This one is not. Um, why aren't you finding employees? I mean, you should find employees by going here, and by going over there. And they found... employees. It is adjacent to the road, isn't it? Should be. Should be. And I don't see a guy going out to fetch workers either. Okay, maybe I can't rely on you then. Okay, fine. Um, maybe I have to put it there instead. Could be that the ground requires the central square. To be next to the road. Yeah, that looks to be the case. Okay, fine. 
Now it's at now at least it's working. And we're certainly producing enough <laughs> weapons at this point. That's good. <sighs> Ideally we do not want the furniture industry all the way in here, do we? Actually we might want it there. You know what? Second thought. Um yeah, there's another room lots of room here for another town there. But I think I'd rather create a small hamlet on this side and possibly something here instead, closer to the, the bulk of the food. And that means we can create industry here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna create a warehouse. Uh, there ish. Mm, yeah, it's gonna accept furniture and nothing else. And we're gonna create another warehouse there ish. Which is only going to accept timber. And then we're gonna start importing. See if we can get our furniture industry going. Though it's kind of risky. Until we fix our <laughs> budget there. Wait, okay, you guys need more of this, and then we need entertainment. And then you need education. one on that side. Uh, oh, fine. I'll just go up here. That's fine. Should make him happy. Looks like the trade routes are open again because we suddenly got tons of more money. get these homes to high, to high enough state, we might not need to create another section of town, to be honest. How are we doing? I mean, we're good in favors, peace is almost there, so you basically have to get the population and then all the cultural stuff. The prosperity is going up. And the gods are so happy that they might even throw us something good. What was that negative? Better access to entertainment. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, these guys require furniture. And you guys still require more uh, entertainment. Or is it something else you require? Like local area. Yeah, yeah, fine. That's, that's easy enough to fix. Doctor on this little enclave, have I? Should probably see if I can get one in there. Perfect. Hey, thank you, Mars. Don't think I'm gonna need that blessing, but I'll take it. Now you need a bathhouse. September. I don't know why I bother with this room. They don't buy anything or have anything they want to sell. Yeah, we could export pottery. Um, I'll have to wait until we have a surplus of people again. But yeah, I think increasing our pottery industry and starting exports 
might be a decent idea. The problem is that pottery is so such an essential such such, ugh, such an essential good that if you need to distribute it along many cent centers of trade maybe, yeah, many warehouses as we do that's a bit of a risk because then you have to put the um, export limit rather high to make sure that you retain enough pottery in the city to avoid sudden housing devaluation so there are some risks involved in doing that at least now the marble industry has kicked off so we'll be making money on that and these guys have upgraded to the next level which means I could place an amphitheater make him happy I probably need a second gladiator school um. <laughs> gotta make it here because I think I'm gonna make a ring road here Just pottery, you're gonna get that eventually. Uh, is that the same thing over here? Yeah, pottery, that's fine. And on this side, good, you have evolved up to the stage I wanted you to be at. I could be wrong here, but I do believe that this merchant isn't just a graphics thing. I do believe he actually goes there and buys goods. Which means he'll buy more than the uh, allotted trade uh, thingy bob. Oh, you want marble now. Uh, that's fine, because we actually have that available. I was kind of hoping to export that, but fine. What Caesar wants, Caesar gets. Good, these have now evolved again. We should be getting some unemployment now. I need gonna need a lot more timber than just two loads. So if that's all I can get, then we're not gonna have a stable supply of furniture. I don't know why I bother with this route. They don't buy anything or have anything they want to sell me. Accept fruits and start importing it. Well, that's actually from this one, too. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, fine, we're gonna have to start the pottery stuff. Um, mines and a couple more pottery workshops and I think we're just gonna make a ring road like so like that perfect because now both of them will go past this little house and get access to labor unemployment yeah we knew that was coming It could be that a town won't import more than two, unless you're actually trying to produce furniture. I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait and see what happens there. Something odd going on with these caravans. The other one just, just that is just passing through. Uh, where did the other guy go? Where did the other guy go? I love coming here. Business is 
going very well. At least one one of the merchants is happy. Uh, come on, come on, we need more people. Easily squeezing more homes. That's not gonna be that much of a problem. <sighs> yeah, I very much doubt we'll be able to produce enough food and furniture. I very much doubt that. I very much would like to, but uh, if our source of source of furniture is gonna be this shaky, I don't think we can. It could also be that the merchant will basically only carry eight goods, both in purchasing and selling, I don't recall. And if that's the case, we're definitely gonna have some issues. No, that can't be it. Can't have a max number of goods on these caravans, can they? Well, he's going in, let's see what he does. Go to this warehouse and unload goods. But how much? He unloaded eight. Greetings. This is an okay city, really. Yeah, okay, yeah, capacity eight units. That's the problem. Ah. Okay, so importing food is actually a bad idea. Because it's gonna prioritize food. I'm gonna try though. The, the reason I wanted to import food was to have a, a short haul access to here, but uh, given how long a trip they have to actually go here and then into the town and then out again, it'll take them two trips or rather two of the caravans to get all the weaponry, two more to deliver all the fruit, and then after that they can deliver timber. And I don't know if they can even do that in within one year. <laughs> and that's a bit of a problem then. At least the pottery situation is dealt with. And you're complaining about libraries, so I might as well try to address that, I suppose. Yeah, let's go to the library there. One here. And then there was this one area. Um, Let's put it there. And I suppose we could start the export of pottery next. Though I do need to set it high, I don't know. I'm gonna put it at 20. And hope that it doesn't drain the town completely. And I don't think we're actually going to import the fruits. Don't think that's going to pay off. Academies. Yeah. Now we'll see. For now though, I think I'm gonna take a short break and we will see if we can see if we can get the furniture industry going. I don't know. It depends entirely on how much we can actually import of timber. We'll find out next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs>